Hi, this is Ty Ford, and right now I'm wearing a Countryman B2D, which is their cardioid lavalier. You can see it right here. And, you know, I got it thinking about this uh, a while ago, and there are pluses and minuses for cardioid lavs. I've got a video where we went out to a um, noisy um, uh, restaurant, snack place, and you can hear the difference between an EMW and, uh, and the B2D, the cardioid. So you can hear how much noise the cardioid will cut down. But as most people know, the problem is, is that if that cardioid gets misplaced somehow uh, and you're out of the pattern, then you're not doing so well. Here in the studio, I don't have any ambient noise to, uh, to reduce. But uh, while I've got it mounted on me and up here and pretty much centered and pointed right up to my face, I thought I'd do a thing where I'd show you what the fall off was. So I'm going to count from uh, 1 to 10 and just spin my head around. So we'll start over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I hear a little fall off here. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe because it's on this side of my shirt. Maybe if I, I, uh, I point it around over that way a little bit. Okay, one, two. Let's try it from over on this side and work my way back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So there's kind of a hot spot right in the middle, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Even most lobs with head turns, and I'm like, you know, 90 degrees around, uh, they'll exhibit some sort of uh, fall off just from, you know, being physically further away. So, you know, maybe not a bad thing. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the mount has a continuously variable swivel on it. You know, I'm sure you've been in that situation where you clip the mic on a lapel or a tie and you think you got it and then you, you know, look at it a, a minute later and the, and the clip's kind of at an angle. So the lob's at a slight angle. In, uh, with an Omni uh, mic, probably not a big deal there. With this, obviously, there could be, and I'll show you what I mean. If I take this and I just purposely twist it over here so it's hanging over, uh, aiming on that side, then over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it really falls off over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. So, right, this seems to be the sweet spot for it right now. Now, that might work for you. You know, if you've got a noise source over here um, that's a problem, and you know that your talent's always going to be talking in this direction because they're on uh, at a table somewhere where they're always looking to this side, so they'll be talking to somebody else, maybe that buys you a little bit better signal to noise. Let me twist it back. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're back in there, and we're back in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a little bit more. I seem to not be able to quite get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, just some thoughts for the Countryman B2D. It's a cardioid, um, and it's got um, this continuously variable twisty guy on here that lets you spin it around. And it's got a, uh, actually, it's a very, it's a different little clip. Uh, so you can dress it really pretty neatly. And uh, maybe it'll do something for you the next time. Here, let me just show you how directional this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm off the back of it now. Check two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can still pop it off the back. Obviously, that's the other thing. The cardioids are a little more sensitive to popping, um, and you've probably had some talent that ends up being a nose snorter, where somehow, and Lord knows how, they have uh, down drafts from their nose or their mouth or something like that that pop the mic and. You know, it's got a filter on it, but um, I'm just squirting out of my nose and I'm popping it. Uh, if it's up high and under their chin, well, what does it sound up like this? Well, it sounds like a lava up under your chin. So how high do we get it? You can hear it go through its changes, its tonal changes. Uh, and of course, everybody that you put a mic on is going to be a little bit different. But I'll count to 10 and pull it down my chest and we'll see what happens there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know, right about here. It sounds like a pretty good place for it, and it's you know, right around the first, right around the first button. Check. One, two, three, four, five. I'm spinning it to see if there's a better place, but it's kind of hard to see for me because I'm not looking at it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how about cable noise? 
not noiseless. But if we, you know, tape that off somewhere and did that with it, then we're doing pretty good. But once again, if I take that out, then you can hear it. That's why what I, I frequently do uh, under the clothing uh, with a lob is to make a little loop uh, like that, you know, just a small loop and uh, tape it down with G-tape under the garment just to act as a um, strain relief, but also uh, as a damper to uh, keep the clothing rub on the cable from getting back up the microphone. Um, so that's it. It's the Countryman B2D. It's a cardioid uh, lavalier, and it may not be the mic you want to use every time, but it may help you out in a couple of situations. This um, cardioid microphone from Countryman versus an Omni. So, here's the cardioid. And here's the Omni. So, I'm in a, a restaurant here in, uh, in Baltimore, and what I'm trying to figure out is how much difference does the cardioid make uh, when you're in a relatively high ambient noise environment that can make a real difference that against the concept of how much head turning can I do and still be on mic. Now, remember, I'm, I got the mic right on me, right in the center. So now if I turn my head left or right, uh, can, how much fall off can you hear when I go over here and speak to that side and speak to this side? One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm dead center on it and now I'm on the left. And now what happens if I look down? Do, does it get too loud compared to uh, the uh, omnidirectional microphone. So that's pretty much it. We just want to see how effective it can be. We know that the cardioid can be a little bit more sensitive to popping um, because it's a cardioid. Now this guy has a little a foam cover on him. I don't know if I'm popping there or not, but uh, when we get back to the studio, we'll find out. So this is the cardioid countryman and also the EMW from countryman. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for Brian Glock for running great camera for me. See ya.